Use it or lose it. Uh, Season 2, episode 2 of Use It or Lose It. And it's actually very apt that we have our guest here today because he's the winner of two World Cups. He's a bit of an underachiever. Uh, <laughs> and in a way, he, he was a mentor for Skulk and myself. Uh, and these days, they actually sport the same hairstyle as well. <laughs> uh, Osterad, uh, Osa, welcome to our huge show. Oh, thanks a lot. Appreciate the, the call to be here. And uh, yeah, let's, let's see how we can enjoy it. Yeah, we, 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 we usually do enjoy it. <laughs> uh, and we're in Bloemfontein today. We haven't been here in quite a while, Skala. Good, no. good to be back. Jeez, some, I... some memories of back in the day so when we used to train here. We caught the red eye this morning, the four o'clock, eh? and <laughs> under Jake White's guidance, yeah. obviously I don't think he wanted to be home much at that time because every, <laughs> no, month, every time we came here for two and a half week training camp, four o'clock flights, you get here, we used to train there at six o'clock in the morning. We were with Doc Derek, yeah. Zip and Zer. Zip and Zer. I couldn't just, I mean, I had to get a pair of gloves to pick up the, <laughs> the, the weights. But also lovely being here in your hometown. Thank you for coming on our show. And your life after rugby, what are you busy with at, at, at the present? Yeah, yeah thanks, uh, Scala. Um, yeah, at the moment, we're busy with, uh, we've got a grower contract with Supreme at the moment. Uh, it's uh, they're part of the Country Bird Holdings, which is a, uh, they supply broiler chickens to, to Kentucky and and Nando's and all those kind of guys. Um, yeah, and uh, we're busy with uh, Centurion Investments at the moment for securing a, a finance deal to to finance the whole, the whole deal. It is it is quite a bit of a, a capital outlay, so hopefully we can we can manage to to pull that through, and then uh, we can we can start. Start, uh, start making eating, money. Eat, no, no, no. Start <laughs> eating chickens. You've yeah. never been chicken, eh? You've never been chicken for anything. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe today, maybe. <laughs> oh, um, so the life after rugby, is that easier or more difficult than rugby? I think it's much, much more difficult. I think when when you play rugby and um, if you if you have a god god talent and you you just need to be fit, then it's easy. Yeah, um, that was never a problem for you. Yeah, well, I think for you it might have been a problem because yes, you yeah. had to work hard and and do extra work and <laughs> you stuff. You just had talent. And Scala, sides. Scala, Scala had to go to the gym like two or three times a day <laughs> just to just to get physical. You know, he was struggling to be physical. Mm. Um, but so yeah, no, definitely. Um, I mean, it's it's nice to be out of rugby as well. I mean, yeah. uh, see your kids. The the last part, you know, you miss. Uh, personally, I missed a lot of, of of those small little things. Um, but now, both 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 boys are in in, 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 in adversity and in blue and courses. Um, so yeah, I think it's going well. We'll we'll touch on our first trip here to Bloom when we visited us on the farm Absolutely. on quad bikes. Yeah, on quad bikes. Seventeen years ago, but us. We've got it, and 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 you were telling us how you religiously watch use it or lose it, um, <laughs> with 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 all our guests. Uh, actually, he doesn't watch it, okay? But his wife Hanley, uh, uh, she watches. We like Hanley more than us. Um, but we've got a new feature where we get fans to send in videos to ask questions, right. and we got a very nice one. So very apt actually for the start of Paul Jim. Obviously, there's, just there's had to get the Paul Jim representation in there. Please play there. Hello, Jacobus, Petrus Durant. Or does everybody call you Oz? I'm Dion Simon from Paul Gymnasium, and I would like to ask you the following question. Do you prefer being called Oz or Jacobus? And where did you get the nickname Oz from? Very, very good question. Yeah. A very good question. Um, do they do they all have such good manners? These 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 kids from from Paul. Paul? Paul, 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 Paul. Good manners, but I can't. I mean, can't vouch for the English. I'm still uh, trying to catch up. It yeah. was amazing. Actually, I've, my, I'm, I'm, my my given names is Jacobus Beatrice, but my my own personal family used to call me Peter. Peter, yeah. And so some some people still call me. Peter, Peter Key or stuff like that, especially <laughs> late at night. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, then I went to went to, to high school in Adelaide uh, Gymnasium those, those years, and uh, you, you had to wear a kind of tag around the neck and it states your your name and where you come from and all your history and stuff. And and one of the was was a nickname, and obviously I didn't have a, a nickname at the time. Yeah. And they the the the, the, the Bigger guys or uh, older guys tried to pin me down to down to shave me strategically, <laughs> and they and they couldn't pin me down. Yeah. And then the one guy said, "Said you, you're strong as an ox." And then from there on, 
onwards, you know, the name stuck, you know. And then I thought I was, I was, I was going to lose it. Um, and then we went to the army in Bloemfontein and there was one guy that, that played against me from, from Craddock, well, actually Marlow. And uh, he started calling me Oss, and and from there onwards, it just, just stuck. It, it just stuck, eh? yeah. and, it, and it's become. And 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 you re- you really are. You you're like a cult hero. It's like you know you talk about Oss, wherever in the world, uh, and even though it's an Afrikaans name, yeah. you know they know who it is in, in the rugby fraternity. In, in, in end of two thousand and seven, it was more Osavar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> so, or Papa Oss, yeah, Papa yeah. Oss. But I remember. Um, I remember playing in 2003, or say you just made your come, come back. That's oh, right, yeah. yes. I, I obviously took a sabbatical, retired in yeah, 2000, yeah. and came back and I played, I came off the bench and we played, you know, the Springbok squad that was going to the World Cup. Oh, right. And we were playing at Bloemfontein. Um, <laughs> World Cup game, yeah. And, yeah. and also was obviously up for it, you know. He, he got yeah. the scent that, you know, he wants to be playing for the box again, even though it wasn't part of the plan, I don't think. But the most amazing thing, I was sitting on the on the bench there, just got my head shaven off, you know. <laughs> and then the only thing is, you were obviously giving out tight heads at the time, Richard Bands and, yeah, and Farn Rotenbach a bit of a hard day at the yeah. office, and you could just hear that, os, 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 os. <laughs> os. It's the original one where yeah. the whole state free yeah. stadium was going off. Right? That must have been amazing to be back and prove to yourself that, you know, you still got it. No, absolutely, Scala. You know, when, when I retired in the end of 2000, you know, always felt, you know, there was still something missing. And then... To, to, to make a comeback and, and be fortunate, you know, to, to play for the Cheetahs again. I would never thought I would ever play for the Springboks again. And then you get the chance to play against the Springboks again or, you know, in a, in a, in a practice game. Yeah. And that sense, that kind of can kind of sets you up to, to test yourself and see where you are, you know. And, and obviously, I knew from my, from my first career to my yeah. second career, I had to adapt a little bit. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't that quick anymore. Yeah. So I focused a little bit more on the, on the set pieces and stuff like that, and uh, <clears throat> and and I had a I had a axe to grind with with Rudolf, which he you know he didn't want to 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 put me or uh, consider you, consider you yeah. get me in the in the group, you know, and and uh, yeah, so obviously uh, for some some reason you know I always scrummed well against Richard Bands. I don't know why, but um, yeah, and obviously that day it. it can still remember Victor Matfield coming out of the that one scrum and his scrum scrum cap was like, <laughs> was like <laughs> hey, he almost looked like Sean Raymond <laughs> on the movie, <laughs> movie, in, <laughs> just this movie. Yeah. Uh, so I can still remember that, you know. So yeah, definitely. I mean, those kind of things, you know, and especially in your first career, being fortunate to start at, <clears throat> at an early age, you know, I never had the opportunity or the, the the privilege to play for the SAA teams yeah. or stuff like that, you know. And and at that stage you you're happy not to play those games because you you, you wanna jump to the to the top notch, to you know. Day, but yeah. looking back and you know, it's always nice to say, you know, I did play, you know, I did play those games. I have played those and, and stuff like that. Yeah, the, whole so, the, the whole pipeline. The whole pipeline. So so almost in a rever- reverse engineering type of way, you know, I, I you know, just playing against them there kind of gave me that that satisfaction to sell it, play the normal game but against also, the box. Where where did it where did like because you, you speak about that that um that competitive edge just coming out yeah. in a game like that, okay? And 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 it's it, it's kind of I don't think it's something you you're born with, but it's something certainly that you that you grow into and that just it kind of never leaves you. You know, even now when we retired, you sometimes it, it yeah getting goosebumps. It, yeah, yes. it, think, it comes out. When, when did that start for you? When did when was it very you, very late in my career, you know, I, I didn't really want to play rugby at, at yeah. primary school, you know, and then at some stage, you know, I thought, oh, I'm I'm not too bad with this, you know, and played it and and then obviously Girl stars noticing you, and then <laughs> obviously that's you see, the backline boy is always yeah. in the limelight, and in the, in the front row getting that kind of attention is, yeah. is, is 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 not every day. So I think then I started realizing, but listen, there's there's something here for me, um, you know. I can maybe, and then you start the World Cup, starting getting in the mix, and there's a possibility of a World Cup, and then you start thinking about maybe, you know, maybe not in '95 one, but the next one, you know, yeah. you you could be could be part, part of, of that. And I think that motivated you as a kid to say, listen, let's let's try and get there. Of course, we obviously want to get past the rugby, but you've got such a long career that we've, <laughs> we've got to cover some of it. And like, so obviously you were a hero for, for me uh, growing up, one of my heroes, even though you weren't a loose forward, like always utmost respect. And then obviously 
retired 2000, come back in uh, 2003, 2004, Jake White selects you for for the box. And I remember, obviously, I made my debut in 2003 and the box yeah. was, you know, we um, had a lot of issues at the time, but sure. the main, main issue is we were ranked sixth or seventh yeah, in exactly, the world. Yeah. Uh, we had issues with our culture, and I'll never forget um, the first day, like Jake spoke to us, and yeah. you know, we know Jake reasonably well. I didn't know you well at the time, but he stood up in the front of this the hotel, the Tsukhosan down the road, yeah. got up, and then you know started talking to us what it means to be yeah. a Bok. Pretty much for me, I mean, very emotional. You are an emotional yeah, bloke. it's true. Do you remember that day? Absolutely. You know, Scholar, and, and the funny thing is, you know, Jake asked me, to, to fulfill that role and, yeah. and, I, and I wasn't comfortable doing that because at that stage I, I, I was low in, in, in self-confidence yes. um, especially against you younger guys I mean I looked up at you guys again until you know you you and the, the pounds is either coming out of a, a World Cup that didn't go well but still you know for me I will always respect any Springbok you know and, and especially you guys um, already you're still youngster then but you know, he said, listen, I need you to be there so that if Scholar, Scholar looks up and, and he feels nervous, he want, I, want, I want him to look up and see you, you calm and Cup collective, winner, yeah. you're a World Cup winner. Yeah. And it was difficult for me, you know, I had to go out of my comfort zone and I have to, had to talk in front of you guys and, and I, I get emotionally very yeah. quickly, you know, yeah. and then start crying and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Um, if the three of us cry on this show today, I think it'll go viral. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and the possibility is very high. Is <laughs> able we'll, to we'll, cry? <laughs> we'll edit it out. Yeah, I'm we'll about edit. to say my wife might get in trouble because she, she, she <laughs> yeah. normally says he's like a rock. There's no emotions yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So. But, it, but, it, but was it, was it, sorry, I interrupted you also, but no, the, was. was it almost you not seeing yourself at that stage, you know, retiring and, 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 and coming back to play again, you almost didn't see yourself as that, you didn't see yourself the way we saw you. No, no not at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you must remember that, you know, there, there's two factors that, 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 that played a role in, in, the, in the pressure that I experienced. Firstly, the public, because the public was used to Osderon playing 80 minutes. Yeah. And suddenly now I'm starting, you know, at the end of, of my first career, as I put it, you know, yeah. um, you know, I only played 60 minutes, you know, and, and they always compared me with the Osteron from 94, 95, 96, 97, you know. And, and but the biggest factor was, uh, was myself, you know. I, I always compared myself with myself. And, yeah. and, I, and, I, and I think that those two factors, you know, and then coming into that group, of strong leadership and strong personalities, you know, and, and I had to fulfill this role, you know, it was difficult for me, but, yeah. but, but I also, I also knew that I had one, I have one favor that counts, you know, in my favor is that I was passionate about the spring walks, you know, and yeah. I, my wife was a spring walk, I'm a spring walk, um, you know, so, so for me to, to play for the Springboks is, is the ultimate ultimate thing for any any rugby player, you know. And I, and I think that gave me the strength, you know. But still, um, they still had to have, a few things had to happen for me to really shed that weight, yeah. you know. The, I don't know if you guys remember that night. That I think Jake announced the team very early. I think even the first week. Yeah. Um, and then when Nenang did that. <laughs> Cook doctor stuff where, where he, with the jersey and stuff and, and, and John took the jersey first and I was just sitting there praying to myself, please, 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 just if, if, if there's no comment, I'll be happy. If there's no yeah. comment, I'll be happy. And then when, 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 it, when the jersey got, you know, up, got to me, then Bucky's jumped up, everybody jumped up. Yeah. And I was sitting and literally sitting there and I thought, wow, you know, I didn't realize this, you know. Yeah. And that literally felt like, 80, 80 kgs dropped off my shoulders, you know, and, and because at the end, if you're playing in a, in a team sport, you know, you have to, you have to have a certain degree of 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 knowledge or um, calmness or restlessness around it that you know, you know, that the team backs you, even yeah. if it's not. All of them, but at least a, 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 a big percentage, a bulk, yeah. bulk percentage yeah. of, of, of those guys. Yeah, it's um, and, I, and I'm going to play the because you, you kind of answered whoopsie, the, the question in it in itself. Um, Has it uh, spoken, John? Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. <laughs> no, 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 shish, shish. That's it. Goedemorgen, Stierke Kerber, Ivan Stellenbosch. 
Um, ek het die volgende vraag aan ons die rand. Um, ons, jy was een van die groot name in wereld rugby en toe om verskye redes mis jy uitgetreed, maar in die Jake White era, toe kom jy terug en dus in die vorm van jou leven en is een van die eerste mens om twee wereldbekers te wen. Um, wat was jou motivering om terug te kom en hoe nabij was jy om te taal en al op te gee op jou loop aan? Was that kind of part of the motivation? You, you t- spoke about the passion for the Springboks, was that the part of the motivation to come yeah, back? Yeah, absolutely, it was definitely part, but, but the biggest Biggest part was was family, um, you know. At that stage, um, you know, I was I was farming, and you you reps come around, you know, and they always ask this little question questions with a little knife in the back, you know, when you're going to play eighty minutes, and why can't yeah. you do this and that, and 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 so I wanted to prove prove Jake right, and I want to prove those guys wrong. But the biggest thing was just for my kids because they was they were still still youngsters yeah, and and I know how cruel other kids can be with 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 with, with other kids you know mm-hmm. so and I I always said I don't want to give them that satisfaction to grind JP or Tian you know mm-hmm. and just give them opportunity to to say listen my dad he's always shouting on your dad and say he's. He yeah. must get out of the team. Yeah. He's, 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 yeah. he's not fit. He's, he shouldn't yeah. be there. There's, you know, a, so. there's a so, difference yeah. between shouting for and shouting at. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. So I think that was the biggest motivation for me, just to just to make sure that 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 my kids are basically safe from 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 harassment or whatever you may call it. Yeah. Just ab- abuse, eh? Uh, yeah. That's, that's right Social word. abuse. The, um, I'm actually going to go into the third video already All right. uh, of our fan favourites um, because I want to I want to add to to, to what you just said. This is uh, Skulk and John. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I am giving you a shout out from Hermanus and my name is Malerbe. All over the country. And yeah, I've got uh, two quick questions for Osti Rand. So the first one is uh, what prompted the decision to return to international rugby after retirement? Uh, were you really missing answer. rugby too yeah. much? And secondly, with us being a, a double rugby World Cup winner, uh, which one is the most special one in your mind? Or is it uh, difficult to separate the two uh, from that perspective? Cheers. Thanks, guys. Uh, so that second question, Scala, uh, and 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 also what I actually want to want to yeah. get to is, you know, not not which one was we'll we'll get to yeah, we'll get sure. to which one yeah. was my well I, I'm sure both were very special, but you spoke about your kids and and now suddenly you you're a double World Cup winner, the first to do it in South Africa, only the second to do it you know ever as a South African yeah. player, <clears throat> and obviously with the with the All Blacks having won back to back World yeah. Cups, you know they have quite a few now that sure. that are double, yeah. but I mean it's such a unique and unbelievable achievement as an individual in a in a team context in rugby do you do you think your kids understand how special and and how huge that is you know when, when you speak about not disappointing your kids and not getting abused yeah uh, do you think they understand that? Does it help winning the second one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll win like, you two yeah, then, okay? okay? <laughs> you couldn't remember the first one. Yeah. No worries. I'll get, I'll yeah. get another one. Yeah. I think it's probably safe to say if I didn't win the second one, then the views would have been a bit, a bit yeah. more there. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think they do, especially getting older and older. You know, I think they they never really saw me playing, um, I can still remember my last test in, in, in South Africa, played uh, Namibia down in Cape Town yes. and Tian and JP ran on the field with me. Um, JP, I had to catch him because he went, went with a roar and you know, he just took off. Um, but I think now they, they do realise, um, especially Tian, which you know, aspired to, 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 to play uh, rugby, but unfortunately he, he's not playing anymore. JP definitely is is a is a very emo, not emotional but sentimental type of of of, of guy you know and so deep, eh? he's he's very deep, deep he's, thinker, he's, yeah. he's like his dad you know yeah. There you go. Um, so yeah I think he's he, he especially you know like um, like all the momentums you know the 50 fiftieth test watch and stuff like that you know he's he's the kind of guy that will put it up in the in the showcase and 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 keep it forever you know, and never sell it. Um, but to come back to the question, um, I think 
I think to put it in perspective, you know, to win your first World Cup and you've just, you, you, you still need to turn 22. Yeah. And then you're out for all those years and then winning the, your, your last, last legs, your, you're your second. Your last game. Yeah. Your last game, last game winning your second one, you know. I think that probably puts it in, in, in perspective, you know, where in 95, <laughs> I don't think I realized what, what was happening. You yeah, know, you were just a youngster. Yeah. You just, I just, I, I wasn't interesting, interested in, in any form of motivational or, you know, the, the two opposite roles. Yeah. Uh, you know, 2007 it, yeah. was as special because there was a lot of stuff behind the, the scenes that Henang asked me to do, which Jake asked me to do. Um, certain role that I had to play, um, which made it very special, especially after winning winning the thing. Um, so for me, it's difficult to choose between the the two. Um, so it's, it's difficult. I think I, I think probably uh, the biggest moment for me was the day when 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 they announced me. You know, the first for for, for the first first game in '94. Yeah. Um, I think especially you know if you look back. Um, 94, 95 is, is special because my my mother passed away just yeah. after 95 World Cup, so that probably takes a little <laughs> bit of 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 more favorism. But but I mean you, you can't take anything away from from a seven. So also we all joked about this knee. You're so all... he was he was now saying that playing with us was not special. Yeah, I, I guess the second <laughs> time around there's, you, you've got more bandwidth. You understand what ha- ha- what's happening. But we were always joking, joking about yeah. Osa's knee. Yeah. And the little, yes. you know, your little like limp where you turn to Osava from Os. <laughs> um, are they all good now? Yeah, well, Scala, I had my first knee replacement uh, end of last year. It's going very well. I can bend my knees again <laughs> yeah. for, for the first time in 20 years again. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I still remember you guys giving me grief from the side. <laughs> yes, I, the first, the, the last few weeks, you know, I, I warmed up on the side with, <laughs> with, uh, um, with Enang Gerke. <laughs> Um, I actually went to Jake and, and, and you remember, we, we always warmed up with this castle and lagers, yes. unders and yeah. overs. And I went to Jake and I said, Jakey, please, man, I'm not, I'm not going to learn how to do <laughs> so I, 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 yeah, Exactly. I'm not going to, you know, and you just pass that pass a little bit in front of me and I have to stretch and then yeah. it's a quad or some niggle. So I said, no, no, that's fine. Go and warm up. And, uh, and I remember especially... <laughs> you and, and John Smith, you know, they're always calling me Opa Os or Papa Os and, and shouting, giving me grief from the side. And I told you guys, hey, listen, the full circle. Well, that's, going. That, that's amazing thing. Because, yeah. I mean, we can relate to that exactly. guy. Okay? We, were, we were that guy by yeah, the end. Right? Exactly. It's like, just as, I mean, you know, when, when, you, get, when you get to the end of your career, it's like, you you warm up and then you get into training and then just when you when you 100% warm up, <laughs> yeah. training finished. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one, <laughs> one of my favorite moments playing with us during that time, that last week, we had the World Cup, I don't know who we playing, but like us basically is lining this bloke up and you check, I'm running behind him, I'm like catching up. <laughs> And it's like watching a, a video from behind a plane taking off, touching yeah. down and taking back up. He just put his head down like this. And the target unfortunately moved. moved, yeah. <laughs> moved that way. And it just went straight through and started picking yeah. up again. Yeah. Just little touch and go. I said, don't worry, also, I'll yeah, get them. Yeah, I'll have your back. Yeah, yeah but it, it's, it's great the different, different kind of emotions through a career, plus the different... Uh, responsibilities in a career it you know when you look back now it was you know the the, the times the times on the field was was unbelievable but we uh, we certainly had some some proper times off the field as well eh? uh, yeah, uh, especially yeah. getting tackles from behind and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that no, but we, 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 we're not going to mention that go. yeah, we don't have to go he's got a thing for front rankers exactly. yeah. Yeah, he's, he's assassin tried to assassinate a few of them yeah but they always, you guys always started you pick on the backs eh? <laughs> I have to stand up for the backs can I get a dry loop sorry get a pee pee Okay, let's just cut it there. I see you know what I'm going to do. Thank you, and action! My first yeah. um, memory of the social side of uh, Bloemfontein yeah. and Osdirad <laughs> was uh, when, when we visited Os on his farm. Was it 2004? It was actually CJ van der Linde's wedding. Yes, yeah. that's correct. Uh, and we came a day early with Dougie. our with our girlfriends at the time. Dougie Wives Heimans. now. Dougie Heymans were, were yeah. there. Um, John Smith was there. Yes. yes. And then we went quite biking. Ended well for you, didn't it? 
It didn't They're end quite, that well. Quite biking. But but <laughs> but also, so we get here. Um, with the girls, like a day early, we're going to have a, like a party at Oz's <laughs> place. House. We get there in the morning, Oz comes in and says, okay, got the cooler ready, whatever, let's go. Quad bikes loaded. Quad yeah. bikes loaded. Girls like, I don't know, you stay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so they had to stay and we all went quad biking. I can't, I, I, I can't imagine you guys not being able to tell them. You, you, are you so scared? To, you couldn't tell them to listen. This is actually... A mana, mana trip, you know, and you yeah. just couldn't do it. it I, was, I was actually relieved when we got, when I got to the back of, <laughs> back of your bucky. It, it, it helped that you told them. And not yeah, that. exactly. My last, no, my, my last thing, I, I had to bite the bullet. My last yeah. thing, memory of that is we obviously now finished our, our little bike ride. Yeah. And then it started raining. So we we're sitting in the pub there and we had a little, we bride. No, but wait, wait, wait. Talk about <laughs> when it rained. And on the quad bike. That's exactly That's where, where I was saying. going. <laughs> so, so we had the bra. So then after that, we go like, but listen, it's nice and slippery now. Why don't you go for a little quad bike now? Exactly. But there so, were certain rules there. So all of us drop all our gear. And um, I mean, all of us looked the right, you know, sort of call hut on the quad bike. But the uh, Dougie Hamas <laughs> with goggles on, call hot on a quad bike doing donuts. I mean, I still think I wake up now chuckling at that. Uh, it was a ridiculous sight. Yes, That's like the, one of the fun. greatest memories ever, I mean, especially that weekend um, or that trip. I mean, it was phenomenal. Yeah. yeah. It and was then, great fun. And, and, and literally back then, I mean, because actually, I'll, you know, we're not, we're not that much younger. The age gap isn't yeah. that big. But at that stage, you know, when, when you – 20 and, yeah. and 30, I think yeah. you guys are 10 years apart, the two of you, right? Yeah, I think probably, so. Yeah. Probably, yeah. probably, yeah. Um, you know, then it's big, but like, yeah. no, it's not. But back then, yeah, now, back then now, now we're you know, going to Aus. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, come, come, come on, 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 come a huge thing, but but then I mean you know and and the friendship that that kind of started back then, what now? Absolutely, yes, yes. You know, nine yes. ten years ago, you know, it's still it's still here now. That's the, that's the beauty about rugby as well. No, that's true. The other one, um, the other one that sticks out also is Baralochi. Oh goodness gracious! Do you remember that? Argentina. Very much. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> I think Scala and myself we. <laughs> We, we, we swapped day and night. Yeah. I think we slept during the days and, and we walked around at night. At time. night. No. Yeah. Jeez, that and, was, that was and so the bendays. Do you remember the, the bendays? Bend yeah. I can remember us arriving there. Um, so what was it? We played, we played Argentina. And then we had a bye week. Yeah. So we stayed in Argentina yeah. and great. then flew to Cardiff. Yes, for Wales. For Wales. Only two weeks after the, the Argentina game, right? And that's, we, where, that's where we started to win the World Cup, man. We, we came together. We bonded. All, all I remember, we were there for four days, and then eventually we had a line-out session, which yeah. was early morning line-out session. But me and Oz and, slept and, in the day and snuck out in the evening. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember this Sunday, we're getting to this pub, and there's no one there. It's me and Oz and a couple of yeah. yeah, no, from Oz And myself, CJ, yeah. CJ van Alinda, it was the four of us initially. Yeah. And the whole time yeah. I'm asking the guys, because there's a band setting up, what time are they starting to play? Yeah. One, one hour. One hour. One hour. So one o'clock Monday morning, that <coughs> band started up. And I, every morning, me and Oz walk straight from that pub, the Bendays, into breakfast, <laughs> into bed. Except yeah. for that morning where I had to do that line-out session. I think Oz might have you know, supported me. But you know, like when you, you don't know when you're going to hit the ground. So like one, I would land and fall <laughs> over. One, I would land like with my legs like this straight yeah. to the ground. Shut us but it was, it was unlike it was unlike Jake to give us. Uh, no, it's true. Uh, yeah, you know, so much off time as well, eh? Oh, uh, see, but it wasn't really him. It was Derek, man. Derek, Derek is especially in the Contikis as well. You, Derek will always go, and this yeah. little <laughs> hey, will <laughs> I, I'll jump around and stuff. Oh, seven World Cup, same thing. So we obviously had like a stash of red wine that was yeah, traveling, tra that? traveling with us. So we're not going out. So we, I mean, we're not really yeah. going. We're fine with that. But as long as after the games we can sit there, exactly, just have, have a, a nice little bit of a steak, chill, yeah. we always had steak and chips after, and a bit of red wine. But yeah. then also a couple of us always <laughs> ended up a little bit later, and then Derek would run in there. Yeah, oh, Derek, yeah. Derek came to me one one morning. I think it was after Masai that that we, the one that we yes. narrowly narrowly escaped Fiji, from losing. Yeah. Yeah. Fiji quarterfinal, and uh, and he came to me and said, "No, oh, sir, I'm going to send you and Scala and Victor back." <laughs> I said, "Why, Doc?" Said no, 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 no. Listen, 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 this. 
I said, but how do you know this? And then he came out and said, he's, he's, he's giving this hotel staff, he's giving them T-shirts and stuff so you can get the CCTV camera <laughs> footage <laughs> to, see then, who's, to see who's, <laughs> who's walking around and who's not sleeping and stuff. I said, oh, dog, please, man, we just need to relax after the games. We're not, we're not drinking during the week. We, we commit it, but, yeah. <clears throat> and that, that was kind of the non-written rule, eh? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we had, yeah. We had so much fun off the field, but, I mean, yeah. when it was back on the field, when you had to put, put the effort in, yeah. you, you you did that, and and kind of off the field, you you build that camaraderie and the trust and the and the friendships, and that that flows over into the game and the, and the That's performances. That's the way that group worked. There, I remember the first time we got to, together, we trained hard for whatever yeah. it was, two weeks, and then we went to you know we went on a little hunting trip. Oh goodness! Do you remember? Great, yeah. re- remember at the uh, and Lutz- I think that Lutz- 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 yes, and that hunting trip sort of set the tone for any forgiven party after that because it was pretty much go straight through the evening. Eh? Yeah, yeah. It was straight through the evening and, and then we deal with the next day. We and arrive. cricket games, everything. <laughs> John Smith, we should ask John Smith about that. Yeah, John about, Smith, about bowling about candles. The, the, um, it, it leads me to this question because it, it speaks a little bit about the team environment and, sure. um, and kind of what it takes. Just press play there. Hi, Oz. Philip here. You are a double World Cup winner. Oh, how many times have we Tell me, <laughs> to what extent do you believe has teamwork and commitment to a common cause played a role in South Africa's success in the Rugby World Cup, as opposed to talent and brilliance of individual players in those teams? Good question, eh? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think that... The, the 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 common thread between '95 and, and 07 was the amount of of training that we did, and also, but everybody was like almost like um, jealous of the other guy. So you, you never allow the other guy to do a bit more because you always felt then I'm letting the team down or I might not be uh, fit enough. You know, I remember in 07, I think uh, Buckis and Victor decided to do some extra s- uh, sprints after yeah. we've done some fitness and stuff. Yeah. And some guys already took off their boots, uh, already taken off their boots and stuff. And then everybody just got back in and everybody starts running. And and that, but that showed me coming out of 95 and stuff because we had very much similar kind of things happened in 95. You know, and that showed me that, Listen, now we've be, become a team, you know, everybody is pulling together and there's nobody not prepared to give go that the extra, go, mile, yeah. go the extra yeah, yeah. mile and stuff. And, and, and I think to answer him, you know, I think that hard work is hard work, you know, and, and, yeah. and you get certain guys that doesn't have the talent, but through sheer hard work, you know, they, 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 they asset for the team, you know. Um, but I think at that stage, you know, coming out of 2004, had to work through trust issues. I think there was a lot of trust issues. You guys coming out of, of 03 with yeah. Kamstaldrat, um, you didn't trust the senior guys. Yeah. Uh, certain things happened in the previous year. You know, to working through all those kind of things. You remember when when we uh, when we striked with the with the yeah. Yeah. With, the, with the armband, and then yeah. they thought you know That's we were doing it for the for the guy the, 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 that that lost the, uh, that passed away in, in Bloemfontein, yes. and then we sneak into we snuck into the toilets to to get the uh, armband so Gerd and wouldn't see us. Yeah. Um, you know all those kind of things. You know it's all those small little things that add to the thing. You know and that's just make it tighter and tighter. Um, I remember Fourier was a difficult guy to, to, to handle as the... What do you mean? He's still a difficult guy. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, coming in as <laughs> yeah. a senior player and, and now you have to build trust with him, you know. And he, him and Van Roten, for example, you know, they, they just they just told us, listen, I, 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 I won't trust you ever. Yeah. And because I got, I, I got screwed last year. And, uh, you know, so we had to work through all those kind of things. And 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 but once once we started getting together, you know, and then you start building, and then um, I also think one of the crucial things for me um, when Jake left a lot of guys back in South Africa, and they went on the on the Tri Nations tour, and Rossi worked with us, and then yeah. when Jake when we got got together as 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 as, as the group again, um, Jake want go. Jake always he used to give the playlist, and he used to say, "Listen, yeah. we're going to do these plays and stuff," and then. I remember you guys, Victor, you, John, Scala, whoever, said, no, no, Jake, we want to do that. Yeah. We want to do these moves. More and, empowered. And, 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 the, yeah. players, and yeah. then Jake was, was, was big enough to step back 
And, and, and I think looking back, you know, that was also a crucial point where we took responsibility for, for what we were going to do on the, on, on the pitch. And I think that made a, made a massive difference at, at, at the end. Again, <clears throat> the, the social side, holding the trust in this. In this <laughs> and, and, and it really to. is. You know? to. Um, so we got some last two questions for you. No, no. The, oh, the, the lasses. The lasses also <laughs> sending in the, the, uh, the questions. So look at that one. Um, because you played against some amazing... Hi, Oz. Machtel here. Um, I just want to know who's the best player you ever played against. So go to the next one as well. We'll, we'll cover that question. And then this one. Hi, Oz. Willem here. Um, I'm a very big fan and even bigger uh, supporter of the Free State Cheetahs. I've just got a question for you. Um, what advice would you give uh, to a prop like Jan Hendrik Vessels from the Blue Bulls? Um, is a youngster coming quite quickly through the ranks, like yourself, back in the day. Um, what advice would you give to him um, to not disappear like others who, 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 got to, who got the opportunity to play senior rugby quite early in their careers? Thank you very much. Yeah, I think to answer the first question, um, as, a, as, a, as a front row, I think probably I will always back Dougie Amons. Um, I think I cut my teeth, you know, playing for Free State B side against him, you know. In those days, we, we, we didn't jump, you know. So all your power work, you had to go and do, like you do 100 scrums. Friends. I mean, it's unheard of these days, even in, in, in 2004, to do more than five, ten live scrums, yeah, you know. We, we scrummed, I uh, remember um, uh, Nelly Smith, you know, bringing us those little pads that the women wear in, in, inside their jackets, the, you know. The, yes, yes. And we had to put that with, with yeah. yeah, little Alpen 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 you know, yeah. we had to stitch that in there and then you scrum and, and the, the blood is literally coming out of, out of your shoulders. Yeah. So, so you, you did a lot of hard work there and, 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 and I can still remember, you know, you, you go into scrum and I think, all right, Dougie, I've, I've got you now. And then you start hearing somebody groaning or somebody that can't, can't breathe and then suddenly you realize, oh, so that's you. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> yeah. then he just wiggles out of that. Uh, internationally, I thought, a guy like Julian White in, in, in 04 at, at, at Twickenham, Twickenham yeah. he really had my number that day. I think we struggled in the scrums. Um, and I think, you know, as, as a front row, I think those guys, Ola Brown was good in 95. Um, I think what made them good, their tight five, they were in the final. They, they played their 40, 45th consecutive game, game as, as, a, as a pack, as a tight five together, you know. So, so they knew exactly... Um, uh, you know what, what yeah. to expect from each other and how to to, to fix any any problem. Um, just on a, on, a, on, a, on the funny side, I think you know to answer that question on the funny side is that um, if you know when do you know when when the when the tight end is good is when you when your hooker looks at you and his eyes are bloodshot <laughs> and he can't breathe and he tells you keep that guy out of my wrist yeah. then you know that that is good yeah. and Ola Brown was, was I'm getting of, to the uh, jokes now you must uh, okay, the sorry, okay. sorry so he was he was he was also good um, what was the second question again the second question was what uh, advice, advice, advice for a young for a yeah, obviously. Because, because the, the guy he's, he's referring to has been, yeah, I, has I, been I, yeah, um, I kind of, yeah. uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, compared. Compared. compared to, so, yeah. Thank you for helping me. No compared worries, compared, no compared to you, Oz. Um, yeah, I think, I, I mean, we all know that his, 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 his loose play, general yeah. play is very good, you know, and, <coughs> and, and, and he shouldn't lose that. But obviously, I mean, looking as an ex coach and, 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 and he needs to work on his on a set piece, and and, and it's only set piece that he, that he's, he needs to do a lot of work is his scrum work. Yeah. Um, I, I believe he's strong enough. I, I think it's just a, a matter of of just really how much he wants it. He wants it, and and working hard and, and making sure you know that hopefully hopefully he's, he's got a a Dougie Amos at the Bulls. You know that 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 that. that, that Teaches him um, and that techniques and, technique yeah. and stuff and that and and it's important that you know as as an ex player as an ex coach as an ex whatever that we need to give our um, uh, experience we have yeah. to transfer it to the next guy so hopefully there's a guy that will take him on his wing and say listen um, I've done that that this is the way to counter that. You know, and just have that quick talk after scrum. You know, so so obviously he's gonna he's gonna battle. 
Um, but if he if he gets that small little input, you know, and, and it's it's those lot little info things at 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 you know at, 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 in in front row because you can't you can't sidestep the scrum. Yeah, you have to man up. You have to face it, and 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 it's it's such a crucial part. I mean, we've won the World Cup due to scrum, the back, of a, scrum. Yeah. back of a scrum, you know, strong strong scrum. Yeah. So you can't afford to have a guy that runs all over the park. He scores tries every third second, but yeah. but he struggles at scrum time, gives away penalty, put the team under pressure, um, stuff. So he needs to go and work at that. But but I I, I personally do believe he's got the talent, and uh, I I also think. I think he went to the to to the to the right place to 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 get that kind of of experience and and hopefully Jake and and the guy the management team will will get him to 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 to, uh, to achieve becoming a Springbok one day. Um, Lions is coming. I, I just wanted to ask. It. It's as if La- we're in sync, eh? Telepathy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it, the Lions are coming, Osa. Um, we obviously played in '09. Yeah. Um, we got a result. We all got it for you guys in '97 when you you didn't, uh, especially in that second test match. We That's scored true. them three tri- three tries to yeah. nothing, and the Jeremy uh, Gaskell drop goal, uh, uh, you know, slotted that drop goal in Durban. Um, uh, your experience, first of all, against the Lions, and then secondly, looking forward to because we haven't seen the box, <coughs> but, yeah. and and what do you expect of the Lions now in 2021? Yeah, I think um, I think our biggest downfall was 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 a uh, selection. Um, and what made it difficult was they, there wasn't really a guy that was a really good kicker that, 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 that stood out. And uh, so they... That warranted a starting position. Exactly, yeah, you know. Yeah. So, so they went with a guy that's really good. And, and, and um, so if you look back now, I mean, you, you could say, oh, if we had a kicker, we could have won all three games, yeah. uh, for example. But then there's so, so many other factors again that maybe then we wouldn't be in, 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 yeah, in, in, in that situation to, to get the penalty, you know. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, um, you know, it's... it's it, it, I mean, especially looking back now, it would have been really nice for personally, you know, yeah. to, to say play, because not everybody got the chance to, to play, play against yeah. the British Lions, yeah. but to win against them and you win a World Cup and, and now in my case, you know, you win a, a second, win second one, one, you know, that would have been really cherry on, on top. Yeah. But, um, but still, you know, I mean, playing against them, you know, just, just a, a sheer fact of playing against them or have, having the opportunity is, is, is huge, you know. Um, this year, I'm, I'm, I must admit, I'm, I'm a, a little bit worried. Yeah. I think our lack of, of, of competition at the moment in South Africa um, is, 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 is against us. I don't think our game is really on top of that. Personally, I, I feel we get, we're getting too much um, two, three phases, knock. Yeah. Yeah. Two, three phases, kick, knock, mm-hmm. scrum. Or yeah. penalty but kick out. You know, needed, so there's yeah. there's there's not that really nice flow where you can build on, you know. And and if you, if you look at Saturday's game against the Sharks and the Bulls, um, the one move where the Bulls got the momentum and you start knocking over the pins and then just boom score yeah. try, you know. And and we struggled to put that together. Um, so, but I mean, looking back at at at, at 20, uh, 2019 again. Hopefully, uh, Rassi and, 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 and Jock will, will have an ace up the sleeve um, and, and, sure. and play them right, um, you know, the correct way. Um, I do believe they, they especially if you, if you read stuff and, and, and analyze it, and, 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 and if you hear that Catlin not necessarily picked the best players, but he, he went more for, for, for combinations yeah. Yeah. and what he believes he needs in a team to win the Springboks, you know, which, which I think is very clever because um, you can sometimes have the best 15 players on the, on, yeah. on the park, but if they don't gel yeah. or That's a, if they can't really play towards the, the game plan that you need to play, then, then it's, it's or, not in your favour. Or our strength is a scrum, they can't combat that, then it doesn't, you can have the best back line if you're exactly. in the world. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I feel you guys are focusing too much on the scrum today. 
Well, yeah, you you, you well, probably funny. will feel like that Scrash. because we're taking the limelight away from you, we've all been, line guys. We've, we've all been we've all been in games where he's at number twelve and he touches it once, and yeah. after yeah. It, he's no, afterwards, guys, yeah. afterwards the number thirteen comes to him and says, "Hello, I played outside side <laughs> centre next to you." No, I'll, many, I'll be the first. Yeah. No, the, the, the forwards are very important. Yeah. How, how many times have you you know when you go down for scrums? Oh well. Mayday, we'll just go back down and scrum again. Oh, no. oh. Yeah, so. oh, John actually got intercepts off our scrums. That's where he's going to get most of them. <laughs> no, thank yeah. you very much, guys, yeah, for you. Pleasure. The forwards definitely makes the career of any backline player. Um, <laughs> also, we had this fantastic uh, um, uh, piece in our show weekly that we used to call the Don't Laugh Challenge. <laughs> but we had to bin it. We can't do it anymore. What? I haven't even told you. No, what happened? We can't do it anymore. We need a new thing. Because the guys, got, they don't laugh. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So we're calling it Bad Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've just renamed it. No, it's a totally different thing. Okay. Yeah. No. So how this one works is I'm going to give you a, a, a joke. Hopefully it's not that bad. And then you must try not to laugh. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so it's like the rebranding of the Bad Joke. Is going to make it a better joke. This is, I get so you. it's it called ma- it bad com- jokes. It makes complete sense. Okay. <laughs> and my, so, uh, and it's a scoring system. The winner gets a big prize. Five jokes. Uh, so, winner amongst our three? The two of you. Yeah. Oh, the I, two of us. So, yes. the, yeah. so oh, the two okay. of you scoring out. system, you'll probably award it to you. But uh, so you must just try not to. Stick with you. Yeah. 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 Okay, here we go. Question number one for bad jokes. Brought to you by DHL, by the way. Uh, Very proud sponsor. DHL was a spot. You can laugh now. Oh, no, I'm no, 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 no. It's not I'm a joke. In yeah. zone. I'm in yeah. the zone. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm just going to go. Brought to you by DHL. Um, what do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can't opener. <laughs> it can't open. So, a can opener? <laughs> I like that as he had for us for daily. I yeah. love it when you explain. Okay, go, okay. I was like, see you want to laugh, eh? I'm up it up. Okay. Um, there are three types of people in the world, okay? Those who can count and those who can't. You, you guys think a, a, a forward, I need to explain it. I said there are three types, but then I only mentioned two. That's a, the joke, but that's why it's called a bad joke, okay? Zero, zero, okay. six. I, I thought we were not allowed to comment. Okay, zero, it's still zero, zero. What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish. Because there's no fish no eye. Fish. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> the was actually snort. <laughs> Where... Okay, two left. <laughs> go quicker, go quicker. Where, where does the sheep go to get a haircut? The barber. <laughs> the barber shop, nice. But he laughed. Yeah, so sorry, I laughed at myself. Cheap. <laughs> oh, just do not up. Uh, have a Red Bull there, there you go. Um, Thank you. Okay, last one. It's for the win. What is Forrest Gump's email password? One forest, one. So that, of course, you're, you're extremely good at this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, ben. Okay, Ben, I'll be there. No you just can't lose. You just can't lose at anything. Um, no, I think yeah. both the two World Cups, that must be the greatest achievement, both. Yeah. <laughs> Not laughing at your jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're, they're really good jokes. No, they're horrible. Eh? I feel so uncomfortable every time he does it, but I like the fact that it's rebranded. Yeah, it's a totally new segment. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. It's a totally new segment. It doesn't um, remind me of the old one. What's no, it? no, no resemblance you, whatsoever. You should uh, swap roles a little bit. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Then, because he, he, he'll definitely laugh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or sculpture do just do something. Yeah. Uh, true. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean as per usual, I mean the backs yeah. like the sound of their own voice. Yeah, so you just true. you know, you'll feel uncomfortable no. if I take over and no. say more than he does, you know. No. Definitely. Also, thanks so much for joining us. No worries, man. So we got to enjoyed it. We're gonna go for a lucky dinner. Sure. Yes. Looking cool. forward to it. Yeah.
What? Show, you, show you the lichties in Bloemendijk. Show us bloemies. I haven't been here in ages. Eh? <laughs> also, vice for see lichter. Right? It's been amazing. Once Thanks a year sure. now, good no, friends. It's... and We don't do this often enough. We no, always sure, say it, yeah. but sure. we'll make the most of tonight. And thank you. Eh? Bye, thank you. It's a pleasure. Thanks, guys. That's a wrap. Episode a wrap. two. Um, <laughs> guys, please. Uh, firstly, please, we'll give the number. I'll use the lose it WhatsApp number. If you want to be on our show, if you want to send in one of these videos and actually appear on an episode of Use It or Lose It. Take our number, send in your video, we'll let you know who's next up uh, as a guest on Use It or Lose It. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Follow us on Insta. Instagram and like us. Like us on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Onze zijn. Onze zijn team even verdwijnen. Lekker.